There is a need to address university education for the Muslim because he sees the problem of the Muslim is not at the lower level. Because finally, as, as you go up in the, pardon my expression, I have to borrow it. It's called, if you go up the chain of being, eventually, who teach the teachers? It's at the university, isn't it? So if the teaching at the university level for teachers to be teaching later on the young minds are using concepts that are alien with it from the Islamic worldview itself, what you get is alien ideas being surreptitiously instilled in the young of the minds. And the vicious circle continues because the young man, minds, like you and I now, a hunger for what more, what's more, what's more. And at the same time, as we grow older in this alien yet naturally instilled in us, we become divorced from our own historical roots. And that is why now you mention Arabic books, you mention Turkish books, you mention Persian books, it's the other world. <laughs> the whole idea when we say alien, it is alien from the Islamic worldview. And it is with the Islamic worldview that is in your mind. It's quite fascinating. I was about to go there. I hope we can finish with that part tonight. That you can see a kind of intuitive evaluation as you read things. You see, you and I, and those of you who are active readers, I mean, I'm not, I'm, uh, for passive readers, I hope you wake up. Passive readers are just read, 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 not thinking when you read. Active readers, when you engage with the book, yes? When you engage with the book, you want to have a different evaluation of what you're reading. So when I say alien, it is because it does not conform to the Islamic worldview, the elements. So we still have that environment. And perhaps um, this is why we need to slowly grow in such a way that our conversation must reflect the Islamic worldview. And it is in that language, and this is what one of the things that Professor Latta talks about, the importance of the Islamization of the language. And, and you can see, you can see, if you read works uh, imbued with the Western understanding of certain concepts, as opposed to if you understand the Islamic import of it, you can see that the concepts are alien to Islam. And it does not mean that you cannot take it. You can take it provided you intuitively know how to adjust it. And that's how the process of Islamization happens in the person. And this is what Professor Latas has been saying. Islamization is not Islamization of knowledge because knowledge is not out there. But it goes with the Islamization of the person through the language. And the language reflects other kinds of things. Partly, he was saying ontology. And this is something that we're going to hit, I hope, tonight, but in the midst of the discussion.